And um, a lot of people from TV shows like the Pacific, and they all saying, man, you, we love your show. It's going to be great. So I'm sitting there, and, um, and they, they, they do the whole, and the nominees are, right? And I hear all of these TV shows, and when they get the, to our shit, the song is playing, and I'm all anxious, have my, my, my speech ready. And they said, the winner is, and I got shit, I was going to stand up, and they said, Nurse Jackie. Wow. And so the Bronx came out of me, and I went, damn, man, like real life. Right. Half the people laugh, but you know, there was some bougie motherfuckers going, goddamn niggers in there, like, you know, everybody <laughs> mad and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, I was brokenhearted, man. And after that, that red carpet shit went right out the window. They let us out the back. <laughs> is that right? I'm not even playing, bro. Like, they was like, yo, you're the two cars are waiting for you outside, and that was it. How did life change for you at this point, if any? Oh, it changed, man. I mean, that, that Emmy thing got me a lot of love, man. It gets me a lot of a lot of work. I, we also, I got a lot of songs on TV shows. Like, I had songs on Bones, ESPN, uh, the History Channel, uh, a lot of independent movies overseas. Like, that's pretty much how I, I do my thing. Like, I, I'll get a song on, like, uh, like the song that we had on Bones. Um, then we'll put it out as a single. But see, I'm, I'll be saying shit like, well, you could use the song, but you have to say that it's from the show and when I, and you have to put it on your social networking pages. And they'd be cool with it, but nobody ever asked questions like that. I mean, because my reach ain't as, as big as the, uh, as the networks, so they have to tweet about it and know about it. So we got a lot of sales and, and, and stuff for that. Can you take us to Clarity? To what? Clarity. Didn't you have a role in the movie Clarity? Come on, man. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> nah, that was a um that was yeah, that was a short film that I filmed out in uh in Florida with my man Sonny and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to plug it? It was cool. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. That's my man, but it was cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what about Francis Stein? I was about Stein. It's like Francis Stein. Stein. Okay. That was yo, that was bugged out because that's like a uh I'll do a little plug for them. There's this company out in uh, in Madisonville, Kentucky called Big Biting Pig Productions. <laughs> right? I'm a big horror. F I'm, I love horror movies, and um, I I found out that they do like these vintage kind of kind of movies. Like they look like '80s movies, and so I hit them up and was just like, "Yo, I like your stuff." And they they hit me on Twitter and was like, "Hey, we're working on this film. You know, I'm gonna come out and do it." They flew me out to Kentucky and. And it was like it was like a, a the female version of Frankenstein and shit, <laughs> and um, but it's a real good movie. It's like it has like that that little cult following thing. So they go to like all those little horror conventions and they they real popular and shit. So I'm on that. I'm in there. The Dying Fields. That didn't. That never happened. That didn't. Unfortunately, that didn't. What happened with that yeah. project? I don't know. It just it was something that was was gonna happen, and I guess it just didn't. I never got any more information about it. That's still in a bio, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got to get that out of there, man. My bad. <laughs> when you say clarity, I was like, God damn, he did research. And I forgot you looking at the bio. All right. <laughs> I did research, but I looked at you know, Clearly you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you also co-produced and co-wrote uh, S.E.D. Thirst. That, yeah, that's my own, little, my own little short film, man. I financed it. And uh, actually, what it's, it's like a romantic vampire film. And... Uh, and I did a soundtrack for it, and I, I wrote a script, and then I winded up, <laughs> it was crazy. We was out in L.A. getting ready to film, and two days before we was filming, I said, nah, forget the script. After everybody done learned this shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Because that's how my mind worked, and I said, look, I got an album, and I'm going to let the album kind of set the theme for the scenes. And so I got a 10-song album, and so they acted out the scenes, and then the music kind of like sets the theme for each scene. And so I did that, and now I just have it in festivals. It's a short film, but I, it's, it's just in festivals right now. So through all these uh, movies and short films, were you still pursuing music? Because in 2016, you jumped back in. Was that something that was calling your name? What, the music? Yeah, were you still pursuing well, yeah, I was still. Yeah, we were still doing the game. I, we put out the theme song, and then we put out the, uh, the uh, Gangster Grass album featuring me, and that did like 150,000 independently, and... So we was, I was able to do a lot of shows and do stuff. I started doing my own little, putting out my own albums. And I was still doing it. How did, I was the, definitely still how did you link up with Brad Walsh? Oh, man, that was through a friend of mine, one of a real good friend of mine, uh, 
a act actress singer. Her name is Alicia Witt. Right. And um, you could Google her, man. She's been in everything, man. And currently, she also does a lot of those Hallmark Christmas movies and shit. And she and she sings. And I met her at a Justified premiere party because she was in Justified as well. And so me, her, and a, a guy named Ben Folds. He's from a, a band called Ben Folds Five. And he produced her album, and we did we did we did a few songs together. So, yeah. uh, you also collaborated with rock and roll legend Tommy James. How'd that come about? Oh man, hell yeah! I got back on Bill, my Billboard stuff is up there. I got back on Billboard charts with that. That happened. This is gonna be funny. That happened because of Fred Mineo from Select Records. Wow. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh. So what happened? Um, Fred called me because I stayed. In, I meant to tell you, man. Through all of that, I stayed in contact with Fred. Like he was, he was a cool dude, man. Even though I wild out on him, he was a cool guy. And um, and he actually turns out that he wasn't the reason why, um, that the uh, money thing was happening with Select. It was some other shit, but that's not even that important now. But I stayed in contact with him, and um, he um, he called me one day and was just like, "Hey, Tone, have you ever heard of Tommy James?" I said, "Yeah, I heard of Tommy James. Dude sold a hundred million records. I know exactly who he is. He said, well, he's working on this movie about his life, and he's looking for somebody to do, like, some voices or something. Because, you know, I be doing, like, voices and shit. And um, I said, all right, cool. So I called Tommy, and we talked about some stuff for the film, and he wound up telling me that he was working on a new album. and said, hey, man, you know, maybe we should do something. I was like, yeah, no problem. And so the first thing we did was one of his hits, Dragging the Line. And I was like, man, that's one of his mm -hmm, Platinum Plus hits. And I'm like, well, what do you want me to do on it? He's like, yo, I want you to rap on it. So they redid the music. I rapped on it. He loved it, accepted it. And then he got uh, Stevie Van Zant from uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen's band. He's playing a solo on there. And um, I was nervous about it because that's, these dudes wasn't, there wasn't no hip hop when these guys were rocking. These are the 50s and 60s. Well, I mean, our, our interpretation of hip hop, you know, it's body hip hop, you know, thousands of years. But, uh, um, and so, yeah, we did that, and then I did, like, two more cuts on the album with him, and I actually designed some of the album cover. Dope. So that thing charted on Billboard and everything, so that was a beautiful thing, man. Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. tell, tell me about linking up with uh, Stephen Miller on your latest book, Tones. Yeah, I met um, Stephen at one of uh, a, a Christmas party or something this past Christmas. I uh, met him at... Uh, Tommy James's manager's house. She was having a, a Christmas party. And um, I don't know, we just started talking and he actually wrote a book for, uh, uh, you ever heard of the band, um, The Rascals? It's an old rock band, he's probably going nah, man. But uh, <laughs> it's a nah, band man. called The Rascals. And um, one of the guys, he, he wrote his book and he just asked me, he said, yo, you ever thought about, you know, writing a book? And I was like, nah. And he said, I think you should. Absolutely. And we, we, and we four chapters in. <laughs> yeah, that's how that happened. Any uh, timeline release date we can expect that book? Hell no. We, 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 I, uh, I don't know, man. Who knows? I mean, it, it won't be like that long, but, you know, we still we still working on it. Right. It takes a long time to do that shit. No doubt. Because we just sit around talking for like five hours, and he goes and goes through it all. It has to put it in book form and all that shit. So it's, it's, it's some time consuming shit. So we got about 10 minutes before we get out of here. Um, can you tell us about your upcoming projects? I just dropped a single called She Know. Y'all can go to my page and, and, and get that. I got a, also a song with my man, Cope Ford. Um, uh, it's more of a hip-hop bluegrass thing that I do. And a young lady named Rizzy Myers, who was on um, The Voice, doing her thing over there. And um, Cope Ford is a, is a gold-selling artist, uh, He's a country artist, but he also raps, and he knows his music. He knows his hip-hop. knows his hip-hop heavy and his R&B. And that one's out right now, too. That came out in March. Streaming numbers are looking real good. And the She Know record, I literally just dropped it last night. So that's that's for, on the music side. That's for that. Um, like I said, my film said is still getting... Uh, uh, we just It's like a festival kind of thing. Cause short films... You don't really sell them, you know what I mean? You kind of put them in festivals and shit. And unfortunately, my tour got, you know, postponed because of the the virus thing. So unfortunately, I don't have any live performances coming up or nothing. But right now, it's just the music. But you can find that on my uh, on my page and stuff.
can you shout out your social media where everybody can find everything at? Nah, man, I don't want nobody follow me, man. I, I, Crazy? Nah, nah, I'm fucking with you. Um, on my on my Twitter is um of course Twitter slash Tones Twit T O N E Z T W I T. Um, my Facebook is uh um Tones is Hip Hop, and that's with a a, a I Z. It's the it's, it's spelled exactly Tones is Hip Hop, but it's a a, a Z instead of S with the is. And of course, my Instagram is right there, <laughs> right. and my um. YouTube is uh, 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 Tones World, Tones World TV. If you want to go there, I don't really be on YouTube much. Right. But if you want to go over there, you can. We got about five minutes before we get out of here. We're going to get into some fan questions. I seen uh, Humanity Human Hughes wants to know, uh, what inspired you to release your music to fans for free? It's really am admirable. Um, you know, I used to do that. When um when I put out a single and it sold a certain amount and I just gave I just said okay if this single sells ten thousand I'm gonna give you a free mixtape but I just started doing that I just I just stopped doing it for the sales and they, it stopped doing it for uh if this sells and I'll put it out and I just like doing that shit man I don't know I just because I mean technically music is free if you really think about it I mean you you may pay for a streaming service but you get a gazillion songs so a, a lot of that shit is free anyway but I just like doing that man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have like there's no deep meaning behind it. I just like doing it. I got a lot of music and I don't mind, you know, sharing it like that. Who is Tones currently listening to? Takashi Six Nine. Get out. Nah, of I'm here. joking. <laughs> nah, um, man, well, hip hop wise, whew, um, I'm still, I'm not, I, I'm still with the '90s and you know, but I don't have that. I want everybody to go back to the '90s thing. I just like listening to it. Um, but as far as hip hop goes, ah, man, probably a lot of J. Cole. I fuck with J. Cole heavy, man. As far as like the newer dudes. And I think there's a kid named Cortez, I think that's his name. I think that's his name. Son is nice too. He real nice. And um Jean Grey, I still rock with her. Uh and it's and everything else, man. I listen to Oasis, I listen to Alice in Chains, I listen to a lot of shit. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Like my 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 collection is crazy, man. I listen to all kind of shit. So, does mm -hmm. uh does Tone have any regrets? Nope. Last book read. Damn, it's right over there. Um, the Marshall Way. The Marshall Way. I recommend y'all read that. Look it up. What was the best phase in Tone's life? My son was born. So, um, how does uh, how does Tones feel about the state of hip hop right now? Hip hop is fine. It's rap music that's shaky. You know what I mean? Um, you got the you got the rappers now who don't even like calling themselves rappers because they're not rapping number one, but they always want to refer to themselves as rock stars or hustlers or. And they always refer to it as, it used to be the rap game, but now they go, I ain't with all that rap shit. You know, when you hear these young boys talk about, oh man, that's that lyrical shit, that's that old school shit, then you know something, something's up with the music, man. So I don't really feel anything because I really don't listen to a lot of it. You know what I mean? Not because, you know, I'm, it's, I, I don't find anything interesting in it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's a couple of people that's probably good. Like the Migos, if I'm at a club, oh, you put the Migos on, I'm turning up with everybody else. But I don't, they're not rapping. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I mean, hip-hop is going to be fine. Music is always going to be shaky. So right now it's just about streaming numbers and, and shit like that. So it's not even, a, there's no real passion in it anymore for, for, the, mo for the more popular stuff. You still got to go underground to get that real. Where does Tone see himself in the next 10 years? Um, hopefully I'll be, I'm part, knowing me, I'll be rapping until I'm like 112. Maybe I won't be touring and shit, but I definitely open, I'm gonna open a restaurant, man. So I wanna be on like probably at least two restaurants by then. What kind of restaurants are you looking, looking to open? Well, Cause I cook, man. I mean, I get busy. Dude. Yeah, I got over, I got over three hundred and fifty-two dishes. That's a fact. I got a Facebook page dedicated to my cooking. You can scroll down my Instagram and see some of my shit. 
but it'll be all it's like a it'll have everything in this sort of like an applebee's but not applebee's but it'll have like like all kind of shit on the menu so it's not going to be just one thing or one thing what does tones know now that he wish he would have knew then um probably not to act a damn fool at <laughs> the record <laughs> You know what I mean? I probably shouldn't have kicked doors and called people names and, you know, that's just one of them. It's probably a million things that I wish I would have, but, you know, I still feel like whatever happened, happened, so I'm, it was meant to happen. So I wouldn't change anything, but, you know. We got a couple minutes before we get out of here. I just want to thank you for taking time to speak with me. Yes, sir. And a big shout out to Mo Crazy for linking up. Mo Crazy! That's my man's and that's my day one right there, man. No doubt. And he nice, too. Stand up, dude. He's nice on the mic. No, he's nice on the mic too, man. I might have to smack him in the back of his neck, man. Get him back in the booth, man. No Stop doubt. playing with him, bro. Is there a message you would like to leave your fans before we get out of here? Um, I mean, it's probably the most simplest thing in the world. I always tell people, just try to be the best you you can be, man. That's all you can be. That's it. Be the best you you can be. Cool. Like I said, right. Thrones, I appreciate everything you've done for the culture. Yes, I, sir. Uh, thank you for this moment. Like I said, mm -hmm. shout out to Mo for making this happen. Yep. And, uh, when you get some new material or whatever, be sure to shoot it over my way. I got you. Okay. I got you. And shout out to everybody you interviewed, man. I've been watching you join Chi Ali and my man from the UMCs. I, I see you. And my man Chip Fu. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. lights be in there, man. Tracy Lee, too, right? Absolutely. Yeah, man. Shout out to them brothers, too, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Because you guys are a big part of uh, where we are today. You know, without you guys, um, you know, I don't think any of this would be possible or happening. You guys had a solid foundation. You coming out in the 90s. And, and you know, like I said, mm -hmm. I appreciate this moment and uh, everything you've done for the culture. Thank you, man. Appreciate you for having me here, man. You know we're going to do this again, right? Absolutely. we got to part two. Because right. you got a lot more coming. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of shit I left out. I probably skipped a bunch of shit, so, we had you know. To, we had to condense it because Instagram only gives us one hour, so I'm glad we got yeah, yeah, yeah. the main stuff in. And mm -hmm. So, till next time, I am the journalist yes. sincere. This is episode 20. That is Tone. Yes, Peace. Thank you so much. Peace, man. See you again soon. All right, yo.